Continuing with our problem, we can calculate our time by taking the square root of 2dv over g. We can plug in 4.5 meters for our dv or our y value. Multiply it by 2, divide it by 10, take the square root. It's going to take 0.949 seconds for our projectile to hit the ground. And then we can calculate how far away from uh, the base it's going to hit by taking our vertical or our horizontal velocity and multiplying it by our time. So it gave us the horizontal velocity as being 3.5 meters per second. We calculated the time to be 0.949 seconds. So it's going to hit the ground 3.32 meters away from the base. Okay, now we've got our next question. Okay, it tells us that our horizontal velocity is 4.5 meters per second. It tells us that our horizontal distance is 43 feet. So we can convert that to meters and we get 13.1 meters. We can plug that into our diagram. We don't know the vertical distance or our y value. Since we don't know our, our, our vertical distance, we can't use the square root of 2 dv over g to calculate our time. So we're going to have to take our horizontal distance, or x, and divide it by our horizontal velocity. So we're going to take 13.1 meters and divide it by 4.5 meters per second squared, and that's going to give us the time of 2.91 seconds. Now that we have our time, we can calculate how high it was. When it asks how high, it's asking for the vertical distance or our y value, which is 1 half gt squared. We'll plug in 10 meters per second squared for g. We'll plug in 2.91 seconds for t. We'll square our t value, multiply it by 10, divide it by 2, and it's going to be 42.4 meters above the ground. Hopefully this helps going through the review. You can go back and listen to parts of it again if you're not sure about how to solve the problems. Maybe you go back and do the problem yourself and then go back and listen to that section. You also have all of your reviews that you can look at from each of your problem sets and you have the original videos from your projectile unit that you can listen to too. Hopefully you have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.